something that we did for you when you were a second grader and couldn't come to the forest in the spring was plant potatoes. Every school here has its own garden bed and we took these potatoes fingerling potatoes they were called seed potatoes from Jmar so thanks to Jmar for donating those and we dug a hole and we put in that seed potato that has these little eyes pointing up and we covered it up and we mounted it up and then the rain gave it water and the sun gave it light and that little potato plant it started to grow and as it grew up it formed these green leaves and it reached up to the sun and it got that energy in from the sun and it started to grow the potatoes but when you look you don't see any potatoes and in fact even all the green plants even started to die so you might know potatoes grow under the ground. You don't have to like pick them off of trees or off of shrubs. You gotta dig them up from under the ground. So we've got our handy dandy pitchfork here. Stick it in and we pull up the soil and kind of turn it over. Oops, I'm stuck. <gasps> there, we've got some already. Come on, I'm stuck on some kind of something under there. Here we go. Already we've got some right here. So look at these little fingerling potatoes. We planted just one potato and already we have, ooh, they just keep coming out of there. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potatoes out of this plant. Now this is a really kind of a neat thing because plants have to have energy too and they do get their energy from the sun, but potatoes reproduce with something called tubers. And so these are what they are, they're tubers. And they actually store the food to make a new plant for next year. Turns out good potato stored food is also good stored food for us, right? I love potatoes that are mashed or baked or in potato chips or french fries or scallop potatoes or potato soup, hash browns, but I also really like raw potatoes. And so if you have a potato at home, that either you grew in your garden or you got from a store, wash it up real good, have somebody at, at home help you to slice it up, put just a little bit of salt on it and try it raw. It's actually super delicious. Um, it's crunchy, it's fresh, and you actually get this like earthy taste to it. So ask a parent to help you out, um, but it's something that I think everybody should be able to do. The other cool thing I wanted to show you real quick about this plant is that sometimes you can find the, what I call the old mother potato. And it's a little bit hard to see. There's a little bit of potato skin right here. And that was from the what I call the old mother potato. And that's really what provided the energy for this entire plant to grow. It used the energy stored in its old, we call the old mother potato, the seed potato, to grow the plant. Um, and then the sunlight hits the leaves, the leaves change it into a food energy. The plant sends that food energy down into the ground, into the roots, and makes these tubers that then we can eat for our energy.